What's your reaction now that he's withdrawn? Well, I mean, there's a sense of relief about it, of course. I think he did a pretty noble thing, frankly, uh, uh, honorable thing by, by getting out himself. I thought his statement was um, appropriate, and I look forward to um, a new nominee that we can get fully behind. Because you had, concern, you, had, you had concerns about political capital being expended here. I did, and I think, I think that was the case that was made, to be honest. I mean, simple math, I think, was made clear that there's not a path, and, and if there's not a path, you, you just, you're going to spend a lot of political capital for a losing cause, should, um, and it wouldn't have been worth it. Should the report still be released? You know, I believe that up to the House at this point. There's no other reason, you know, for it to be released other than if he was still a House member or, you know, a nominee for a high position. So I'd leave that up to the House. Do you think a lot of attention and scrutiny now goes to Trump's other nominees like Pete Hegseth with this report? Well, probably for you all. I mean, I think that each of the nominees are going to come under the same scrutiny. It's the it's the process that we're supposed to go through, that you know. So, um, but you'll have you, – you'll, you won't have – you won't have Matt Gates to report on, so yeah, I suspect that Pete will get more. Did the, did the sexual assault report, its allegation, does that give you any pause with Pete Hexeth? Well, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big problem given that we have, um, you know, we have we have a sexual assault problem in our military. That a number of us, and, and certainly the champions, being Kirsten Gillibrand and, and Joni Ernst, um, but I've been on board with them and in support of the legislation to deal with it since the since the chain of command was not. And um, so, yeah, it becomes a problem. Again, it, you know, he's, he, this is why you have background checks. This is why you have hearings. This is why you have to go through the scrutiny. I don't, I'm not going to prejudge him. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty concerning accusation. Yeah. Is, are, you considering, are you considering voting against him? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll have to wait until we get to that point where we'd have a vote. So there's a long process to go through before that. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but it's damn convenient. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh, so. Can Ashley be on the Treasury Secretary? Because Trump, Trump seemed to expect him to name that today. Do you have an opinion on who would be a good candidate? Well, I would if tell you. you speak loudly. Yeah, sure. So I think everybody that they talked about are pretty good. I, I mean, obviously, if. if um, if Bill Haggerty is under consideration, I don't know how you do better, but is that still in play? Can you say that one more time? Yeah. Real quick? So I, I have to say, <laughs> you know, when I heard that Bill Haggerty was under consideration, of course I was on an airplane with him, with, with President Trump at the time that I learned that. Um, I have to say, wow, you talk about somebody who's both qualified, um, has the right mindset, has the right demeanor, has the, the right loyalties knows this place well, he, you know, he'd be a layup for confirmation and he'd do a great job. I'm intrigued by Mark Rowan, frankly, as a, as a candidate. It's not somebody who would have come to my mind, but after I heard that he was a possibility, I'm intrigued by it because of just, uh, you know, what he's accomplished in, the, in, in his line of work. He certainly knows from the other side what overregulation looks like and how stifling it can be. So, but um, so far, Bass, I mean, they've all been good. I think they've all been good rumors. Overall, I was a little surprised by it, uh, how abrupt, abruptly it happened. Oh I'm really not doing that. <laughs> Just so. The code word is gay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, uh, so, I'm just waiting for it. to turn off. She doesn't know how. Which party does she work for? <laughs> it could be either. Yeah. She's just anti-media. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that could be, yeah. actually. Uh, overall, Senator, your level of concern about the vetting or lack thereof with the Trump team? Well, that's their concern. I mean, that's their, if they don't want to vet um, more or if they want to take a chance on these, that's up to them. I, our job will be to vet. Um, if they don't, we will. If they do, we will. But it's obviously a risk. It is a risk, for sure. It gets back to the political capital issue. But um, it's a, it's, this is probably part of why they're doing it so fast. So that you, Donald Trump has always liked a rather public vetting process. As you might recall, in his first term, there were times when he had cabinet secretaries on the opposite side of an issue debating it in the public sphere. I think Donald Trump processes that way, quite honestly. And I... You know that's fine if it works for him. Yeah, let's try. Let's try again. Are you surprised that Gates dropped out today? I was. I was surprised by how abruptly it happened. Um, I think. I think it was. Like I said, I think it was an honorable thing for him to do. As soon as you know, you might as well do it, I guess. But I thought maybe the process would play out a little bit longer, maybe into a weekend or something. But. Um, but good for him for doing did it. Did you think it would make it to January? By I mean, any measure. I did not. I did not. You did. I, they're just. 
I know enough people that were a hell no in, in the in the conference to know that it, the path would have been very very difficult if if possible even, and I doubt it was. Would you have voted for him? Well, I, again, we, that would get, wait. We'd have to wait till it comes out of the Judiciary Committee if it would. Um, Given the allegations that are out there and have been reported on, would you vote for him today? I, no, I would not vote for him today, and I, that I have been clear. If, if I had to vote on what we know today, I would not. But again, I want to be fair to the committees of jurisdiction that have the responsibility to, to do that for me. So, anyway. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah.